All right, did you want to make it a little bit more exciting for everybody and let, let, let them back in a little bit? No, not at all. <laughs> you know, obviously it's kind of strange for us to, you know, turn the ball over like we did three plays and almost three plays in a row, so it was kind of crazy. But, um, you know, talking about Paul Preston and, and Allen, I mean, it just doesn't happen. So I'm not concerned about it. Obviously, it, it, it was a part of the game, um, but I'm not worried about it going into the next week. Uh, those guys handled the ball great, so I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. It's kind of like last week, you know, where you guys had the two turnovers right away in the second half. But again, they still found a way to, to overcome that. And... Yeah, I'd like to stop that trend. Um, I'd like to get that done with. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's our football team growing, you know, kind of growing from within is that, you know, adversity comes every game. And earlier in the year, we didn't handle it very well. And now we've two games in a row, big games, and we haven't played great at home. So to do that here at Maxwell Field was huge for our program. Um, you know, how about Eric coming in and kind of, kind of stop, stopping the bleeding a little bit with that running game. You know, you didn't punch him in when he got down there, but he kind of settled everything down a little bit. Yeah, he's a, he's a man. I mean, he runs the ball hard and big, strong kid. And he, he, you saw people just falling off him. Uh, you know, he, he's healthy now. Um, you know, he's had a couple of weeks where we just kind of didn't want to play him a lot. Uh, but he's ready to go now. He feels good. And, and you saw what he can do. So uh, the more he plays, the more we want to play him. Yeah. Uh, what was the Paul? Do you know what happened with him, or did he just hit pretty hard? He just got hit pretty hard. I mean, I talked to him. He was—I had a good conversation with him, so he was fine that way. And his parents were there, so um, I think he got—you know—definitely took a shot to the head. Um, you know, it was just part of part of being tackled. You know, right at midfield there, and, and uh, so we'll, we'll we reevaluate tomorrow. Did he go through any like concussion protocol or anything like that? Yeah, they always or, do. Anytime yeah, a kid yeah. gets hit in the head or dinged up a little bit, I mean, you, they go through it. And Dr. Main looked at him, and I talked to him about it, and. So everything's positive right now. We'll see how, how it reacts over the next 24 hours. And what was uh, Josh Micas's deal? He just kind of re-injured that groin last week in the game. Um, so he did practice a little bit this week. So he was kind of an emergency guy. He could have played. Um, he was good enough to play. But um, obviously, we didn't need it today. So we just rest him up and, and get ready for next week. Yeah, I mean, you had Dylan come in and play pretty well. You had Ian come in and play for, for Colin, who seemed to aggravate that knee again. Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that really seemed to kind of be a, a, a a big key today. Yeah, and, and the guys you're mentioning, you know, are, are fifth and sixth year seniors, and they've played a lot of football for us. Uh, Dylan has done a great job for us, and Ian's been here six years. Um, those guys know how to play football, and they're very passionate about our team. So for those guys to walk in, I don't think anybody worried that those guys were coming on the field. They played a lot of football for us, so it really didn't look that different to me. Yeah. You know, defensively, how do you think you guys handled? You know, their their various you know wildcat formations and, and yeah, it was kind of it was kind of scattered. You know, I mean, it was something we didn't know what they we knew they were going to run it. With the quarterback, then all of a sudden they ran Wildcat. We, you know, we weren't prepared for that. As far as you know, had no idea they were going to do that. Um, I, I just didn't think we had to, did have a great day um, tackling, uh, especially in the first half. Um, I think our scheme was fine. We just, you know, we just were playing a little bit slow defensively um, against that Wildcat. We got to get them make tackles, and you heard us talking about that the whole game. It's like tackle, tackle, tackle. So I will continue to work on that. But I think our coaches handled the scheme fine. Uh, we just got to continue to make plays. When, when you get that change, it kind of throws all the stuff you've worked on during the week out the window and go play football. Um, I don't know if you want to talk too much about this, but you know, um, losing Tom Hozier this week, you know, mm -hmm. what, what was your relationship like with him? Yeah, I had a great relationship with Tom. I was with him four of the six years. Um, you know, he gave me an opportunity to continue coaching here. Um, I was with Coach Passore before him, and then I was with Tom for four of those six years, and, and we won back-to-back -back championships, and he's the one who got this started here. And, uh, and I told him when, when I was working with him that I would get that opportunity, I just hope to keep it going. And we had, and we did. So very proud of the time that we had together. I consider Tom a good friend of mine and very sad on his passing. Yeah. Did you stay in touch with him at all recently? Or uh, did he kind of? Yeah, he kind of faded a little bit, yeah. kind of got really involved with some other things. Uh, but he came back for a couple of the reunions off the, the, the uh, 93 and 94 teams. And he came back, and I called him, and I always invited him back. And he came back, and we had great conversations. So. He just got into kind of a new direction with all his yeah. history stuff and doing that. So, yeah, I know him and his, and his wife and family, and, and uh, yeah, it's a sad, sad day. Yeah. Anything about this particular game he would have liked? You know, maybe not the tackling, but... Uh, you, know what he, you know what Tom would have liked about this is the, kind of the resilience. Uh, he was one of those guys that overcome adversity. That's, I mean, he did that at McAllister. That was kind of his trademark is to overcome stuff and find a way to win. And so he'd have been proud of the way the guys, even, even through the fumbles and stuff that... He'd have been right there with the guys going, I told you this was going to happen. I told you this was going to happen. So he was very positive in adversity. And, you know, back to the team, you, get, you guys have, some, you know, two, two wins in a row now. you got two more games left in the season. You know, where, where is this team, you know, he, he, heading, heading now, you know? Well, again, we just got another one coming. I mean, that's the league. And, but I think our kids are starting to understand what it takes to play at a high level. 
Um, we'll have to do it again next week. Augustana is very good, and, and we're in a position now to, to make a difference in the playoff picture. And so everything, every time we go to another week and we keep winning, you become part of the, the conversation, and now we're now we're part of that conversation. Anything else you want to add? No, it's a great day to win at Maxwell Field. All right, for both you guys, you both had to come in and replace someone who was injured. I mean, uh, you know, talk about that next man in mindset and how much it was, it was key to that. Ian, if you want to start. Yeah, you know, during the week, we, we always get even reps, and it's important that you, you pay attention to your practice, and when you get your name called, you got to be ready to go and perform. Eric, how about you? Um, I just knew um, <clears throat> after Paul went down and I had to step up for my team today, so like I was ready right away. Coach told me early in the game that like third series I was going to be in, so I just had to get my mindset right. Yeah. And that was a key point too when when Paul went out. They they cut the lead to four. You guys had those three fumbles. I mean, in the back of your mind, were you like, I have to have two hands on the ball at all times? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody on the sideline kept coming up to me, telling me hold on to the ball. You know, um, all year I've been trying to focus on that. I've had an issue with that in the past, so that's one of my biggest focuses on the season this year. Uh, you know, when you have those turnovers, it, it was kind of like last week against, you know, Mankato did, and you guys answered the call last week and you did it again this week. I mean, just talk about, you know, how, how mentally strong this team is not to, not to totally fold in, in, in those situations. Oh, well, <clears throat> I think our team, we overcome adversity all the time. So uh, I knew, like, right away, like, after those problems that there was no issue. We, we knew we were going to come back and just keep playing hard. Yeah, and how about you? I mean, the... the uh, the defense gave up a few touchdowns there after those fumbles, but you guys kind of locked in the, 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 the rest of the way. Yeah, you know, when we gave up those touchdowns, we looked each other in the eye and said we got fixed with adversity. We can't run away or attack it. We finished all the game strong and ended up getting the W. Uh, Eric, what did you see on that on that touchdown run? That was a pretty nice run that you had. I mean, that, that, that had to feel, feel pretty good to do that at home. Oh, it did. As soon as I broke through the hole, I broke that first tackle. I was like, "There's, there's no chance I cannot get in this in, in this end zone." So you know, I saw that first dude on the um, first dude broke that tackle. Then nothing did that corner my eye, cut back, you know, high step in end zone. Yeah. And for both of you, how nice is it to, to finally get a win at home? It seems like it's been a while. Yeah, it's nice. You know, we got to defend our home turf, and it's important to win in front of our fans, in front of the community, everyone here that's supporting us. So it's always fun to win in front of Warrior Nation. Eric, how about winning at home? I think, I think it's going to help us out for the rest of the season, you know, keeping this home street going. Alan, why don't you talk about how the team, you know, responded after uh, it seemed like it was going to be a blowout, and then you guys kind of let them back in, and, and then you were able to finish the job, you know. What was the mindset of the team at, at, at the beginning of the second half? Uh, we just stayed up, you know. We had three plays, three turnovers. Um, so we can't do that. But, you know, we, we kept pushing, and we kept our heads high, and we battled back just like last week, how we battled adversity last week. We had two turnovers right away. This week we had three. We, we got to fix that. I'm sure it's going to be an emphasis this week, but uh, to take care of the ball. Yeah. Hey, Loudon, how does the defense respond in that situation? You know, I imagine you guys were were thrilled with the first half you played, and then you're having to defend short fields right away in the second half. Yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> as a whole, as a defense, uh, our mindset is to get back on the field and just be excited to play, and uh, that's instilled with us by our coaches on the defense. So. We were excited every time, like, you know, offense turns the ball over. We're excited to get back out there and play. So I think that's I think that's a great thing to have as a defense. Were you guys kind of, you know, jacked up to face, you know, another team that rushes the ball all the time? You know, you weren't they weren't gonna do too much trickery as far as the passing game, maybe some a little bit with that wildcat, but you know, were you guys excited for, for this challenge as a as a D line? Oh yeah. Well, I mean we love we love teams that run the ball, we love teams that pass the ball. I mean, it's always a challenge every week and that's what we look forward to is having a challenge and you know, in this league that we play in, the NSIC, it's never it's never an easy game. And um, yeah, we love we love defending the ball on the ground because you know it's big man football up front. Uh, are you going to be kicking yourself for not for not taking that fumble in for a touchdown? Nope, not at all. Our def our offense came back, they scored the ball, they put the ball in the end zone, and made the seven points happen. So I'm not I'm not mad at all. We got the score. Um, now you guys had some guys go with injury today. You know. Every team talks about that next man in mindset today. It seemed to really pay off for you guys. Uh, Alan, if you want to talk about, you know, guys like Eric uh, stepping in and Dylan's uh, play, playing for Josh. Yeah, you know, they got to be ready and they do a good job during the week, you know, getting mentally prepared. And you know, those guys stepped in and they did uh, a big job. And, uh, you know, it's, it was week nine, you know, a lot of guys are starting to get banged up, so everyone's got to be ready to go. You know, Loudon, you guys had a senior linebacker come in for, for Colin, you know, Ian stepped in for Colin. I mean, how much confidence does that give you guys to know that you have experience on that bench? Huge confidence. I mean, 
We knew, I mean, we knew that any of our guys in that position can play the ball. Like, they can play football, they can run, they can hit. And you know, we have confidence in all our guys back there. So um, Ian did a great job today as well. Had, had some great plays and you know, really stepped up. You know, what is this one going to do for you guys moving forward? Well, we just got to keep momentum going. You know, we got a really tough team coming in next week with Augie. So we just got to keep going. We got to get back to work tomorrow. Yeah, well, it starts, it starts tomorrow. You know, we got Augie coming in here. They big up front, good skill guys, just like every other team. We gotta kind of treat them like every other team and play hard.